This makeup look is not original at all. There's so much drama going on right now. Hey, what is up all my social climbing friends? It's Dustin and I'm back with another video. Boy, did I wake up to a mess today. I just want to say before I get into this video, if you guys watch me and you follow me on Instagram, there is an account that is actually like using my pictures, messaging people, following even my relatives and things like that. They're messaging people trying to get like personal information. This is not me. It has been reported to Instagram. So if you do get a DM from someone named Dustin Daily 123, it is not me. My name on Instagram is just Dustin Daily with no spaces at all. If you receive a message from this person if you would please I just ask report this account as impersonating someone else I have reported it as impersonating me we'll see if Instagram does anything about this I've never actually had this happen I must really be coming up in the world also I just want to give a quick thank you to House of Wood Michael Wood he follows me he's been a subscriber of mine forever he has a YouTube channel I will link it in the description box of my video he sent me this really incredible Bath and Body Works gift set it had all kinds of like stress relief relaxation type of stuff in it this candle right here eucalyptus spearmint it smells amazing that was really sweet of you and girl I am looking really frumpy today I have not been up very long but let's just get right into this drama I know you guys are like James Charles possibly copied somebody like what's new this is not actually gonna be a video where I'm going to diss on James believe it or not because this makeup look is not original at all if you guys remember back in like first second third fourth fifth grade even do you remember those things where you would like connect the dots and it would make a picture and then you would color in the picture with like crayons or colored pencils and things like that? James Charles actually posted a picture on Instagram yesterday and he followed it up with a tweet. So we'll get into the Instagram post and then I'll read you his tweet. Well, actually, I'll read you the tweet and then I'll show you the Instagram post because I've got it backwards. James tweeted it out yesterday and said, I'm about to post my makeup look that I know for a fact isn't an original idea, but I have absolutely no idea who did it first. So I can't wait for a credit scandal and we all love a good credit scandal. We all know that James Charles is always accused of not crediting people when he does a makeup look that is similar to someone else. There are some instances where I do not believe that he actually copied anyone and there are other instances where I believe that he may have taken inspiration from people. <coughs> Make it by Elena. But he tweeted this out and then he posted this picture on Instagram of him painting his face and it's actually a very beautiful picture. It looks to be done very, very well. Like, I don't even know if James Charles did this. No, let me stop. I'm not trying to be shady. It, it's a really good picture. And the caption says, James Charles, paint by numbers. Thank you so much for 15 million sisters on YouTube. Our little family is growing so fast and I cannot believe that this is really my life. It's all thanks to you guys. I love you. And as you see here, it's a really cute picture of him like with his face like halfway drawn in, halfway with makeup, halfway with color. Well apparently there was this Instagram person and she has like 1200 followers and I'm not trying to shade her at all because we're going to get into that in a little bit. But she actually had posted a picture back in November of 2018 with a very similar look and she has like paint by numbers she has a paintbrush and all of that is very reminiscent of what I seen when James Charles debuted his palette as far as like the makeup brush and stuff like that goes but this was actually posted back in November of 2018 so apparently this girl tweeted at James Charles in response and I don't have the first original tweet because on when I went to get this it was unavailable but she said something to James and James replied and said I've never seen your work before and this is why I clearly stated in my caption that I didn't know who the original artist was. I've now updated it to list who I was inspired by. Lex replied to him and said, I appreciate this reply. I don't want you to get any hay and I'm sorry for wording it the way I did, which makes me assume that she probably went in on him. It's frustrating. I know you need to keep pushing out content because you're growing at an extremely fast rate, but thank you for being kind enough to respond. Now we all know of instances where people should be credited and other instances where they claim they should be credited and they really shouldn't. Now from my understanding, I could not verify any of this. This was sent to me by my friend Paisley MUA. I will be linking her channel in the description box of this video because she makes cute little tutorial videos as well as her Instagram. She does cute little makeup looks and like some of the stuff she posts is like really stunning. So if you're a makeup lover, definitely go check her out. But from what I was told, this girl actually received a lot of hate from James Charles fans. Now you guys know how I feel about this. James did not directly go out and say, hey, you should go over here and say this, this, and this to this girl because she's saying that I stole this look and I didn't give her credit. I didn't see anything like that on Instagram. I didn't see anything like that on Twitter. So I'm not saying that James in 
any way influence people to do this or go after this girl whatsoever. There have been instances in the past where he's quote tweeted people and things like that. This was nothing like that. But apparently people are saying that this girl Lex was actually attacked by James Charles fans and while I'm at it I'm gonna link her Instagram as well down in the description box of this video. My whole thing is this whole like pack mentality, this mob mentality that we have on social media when someone that we like is under fire is really really gross. I feel like some people need to take a step back and realize that you defending someone on the internet is cool as long as you're not being rude, as long as you're not being hateful, and as long as you're not sending threats. Because apparently from what I understand this girl also received like a whole bunch of threats of telling her to herself and things like that which is never okay it's never acceptable and I would never want anybody on my platform to defend me in that way and I'm sure that James Charles would absolutely feel the same way because he has went through so many different scandals he's received so much hate on the internet he has been through a lot so I don't think that he would want any of his following especially like the young people that follow him to do this type of stuff I also think that this is a learning experience for this girl Lex I actually went back and I went through Google for just a little bit and I think it was like the third or fourth link down there was actually a picture of someone that did paint by numbers it was the oldest date of paint by numbers that I could find I'll put it here and it was actually I believe in 2014 which would have been five years ago now in no way am I implying that is even the first paint my number scenario or makeup look that has ever been done because as you guys know paint by numbers is a very very old thing you can go to Walmart and buy these felt things where it's like paint by numbers color by numbers this is not an original idea at all and the whole crediting thing unless it's like very 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 similar and you can definitely tell that it's an original look which in my opinion honestly at this day and age in 2019 there's nothing really original anymore unless you're like Lady Gaga and you're coming up with crazy outlandish type of stuff wearing a meat dress or something to that effect it's all been done before and unless it's like a blatant ripoff and I like see someone do exactly the same makeup look and take absolutely full credit for it I don't feel like it's really a scenario where we should get on the internet and try to drag someone for it you know what I mean Update. I feel like I want unsolved mysteries T by Allie actually just texted me back and she said that they have taken down the Instagram account that was impersonating me Thank you, Instagram. Thank you. You finally do something right. Anyway, I digress. But you guys, I really want to know what you think about this. I know that some of you are actually going to agree with me in saying that, that there's no real original ideas anymore unless you're like, you're like some kind of makeup prodigy. Oh, one more bit of tea. I was going to make a whole video on this, but I don't really feel like I should until further things come out. I think that Nikita is actually going to be posting a video today, maybe with like a reveal or something to that effect. I don't know and in no way am I implying what I'm about to say is true. It's all alleged. I actually live for Nikita in some instances. I think that she is an amazing person with her trying to push the envelope and get people to accept trans people because I feel like that is a major issue that our whole country and the whole world needs to work on right now. So I love her for that. I will never knock Nikita for that. Her past and some of the things that she says I absolutely do not agree with and you guys know what I'm talking about. But I went on TESS and for those of you that don't know what TESS is, TESS is actually the trademark website and I looked up Nikita Dragon. Most people that have a huge following such as Nikita, they trademark their names, they copyright their names so people cannot use them. But I did not see that there. I also looked up Dragon Beauty. I did not see that there. So either somebody is like really being slow because Nikita has already put this on Instagram where she's going to be launching her own brand and I would think that that far into the creative process they would already have the legal paperwork to protect what they were working on but I did not see Dragon Beauty there, Nikita Dragon Beauty there, any of the sort. So unless that comes out in the future that would lead me to believe that maybe Nikita is working with another brand that's just going to be like a her brand will be like a subsidy of another brand and I don't think there's anything wrong with that but it was just really interesting to me and that's not me trying to knock Nikita at all but you guys I know this video is getting kind of long I say that all the time and it's because I cut so much out of my videos but let me know what you think about all this down below what do you think about James Charles and this alleged copy incident what do you think about Nikita Dragon's new makeup line I was not really here for the whole anime thing I think that the dragon egg is really really cute and really really cool and it's kind of actually really creative if you think about it also if you've made it all the way through this video I am thinking about doing vlogs not like everyday vlogs but like every couple of days I do have a vlog channel that I've never 
ever like really posted on maybe two or three videos. I kind of would like to get into that because there has been like a drought of drama this past week and it would give me something to do. It would give me something to edit and it would keep the communication ways open with me and you guys. You know that I'm very active on Twitter and I love talking with you guys and I would like to maybe share a little bit of my life. But anyway you guys let me know what you think about all this down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.